Empowering Overcomers. Step three, become aware and let go. Part two, what do you need to overcome? Depression, anxiety, trauma, abuse, addiction, burnout, feeling overwhelmed or like you're not good enough? Life experiences can give us hard things to deal with, but we don't have to be a victim or even a survivor. We can become the champion of our own story as we overcome our challenges. The process of healing and overcoming has three steps. Step one is to feel good. Step two is to increase self-love. And step three is about becoming aware and letting go. This video is part two about becoming aware and letting go. So when I talk about letting go, letting go of what? When something happens to us, we store that memory in our brain and our body along with the emotions that we felt and whatever meaning we attached to it. We can detach the emotions like fear, anger, shame, and so on. We can release conclusions such as, I'm a failure, I'm bad, I'm worthless, I'm weak, or so on. We can keep the learning and we'll keep the memory of the event but it just doesn't hurt anymore. It's just something that happened. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about forgiving people. So I want to clarify what I mean by the word forgive. First of all, let's explain what it is not. Forgiveness is not saying, oh, that's okay, or excusing or condoning a person or their actions. It is not absolving them from responsibility. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness or surrender. Forgiveness does not indicate that the balancing scales of justice have been satisfied. Forgiveness also does not mean that you have to continue having a relationship with a person who hurts you. It also does not mean that you release that person from any legal accountability for their actions. It is not letting them off the hook. It is letting you off the hook. It is about detaching the negative feelings associated with the person or event. It is all about letting go and becoming free. Now there's more than one tool and technique to help us in this process of becoming aware and letting go. One of the most popular techniques is called EMDR, but there are others that work as well. What I'll be sharing with you in this video is something that you can do by yourself for free because I believe that healing should be available to everyone. However, I also encourage you to get whatever other help and resources that you need. It's very helpful to have a counselor or a coach. Working one-on-one -on -one with a person can help you stay focused and can help you achieve wonderful results. In order to heal from the past, we want to pay attention to the people who had the most influence during our formative years. Usually, the most influential people are our parents. We want to take a look at our experiences, what emotions we attach to it, whatever meanings we attach to it. In order to release emotional baggage, we need to forgive our parents. And that's true whether we had abusive or neglectful parents, or even if we had attentive, loving parents. My parents are some of the nicest people that you could ever meet, and yet I had a lot of mother wounds and father wounds. And for myself as a parent, I did my very best to help raise my children in an environment of love and support. And yet they still have mother wounds and father wounds. Relationships involve forgiving each other and repenting. And by repenting, I mean acknowledging our part in the mistake or misunderstanding and making corrections. If you experience trauma or abuse from your parents, I recommend that you pause this video and watch the video on healing from trauma and abuse first, and then come back and watch this afterwards. Now, we will begin healing from our mother wounds by doing a healing visualization. Take a deep breath in 
and then slowly exhale. Inhale and exhale. I want you to visualize that you are in a safe place. Look around you. Where are you? Are you in a room? Are you standing on the beach? Or in a meadow? What do you see? What do you hear? Enjoy the sensations of this peaceful, beautiful place. Now I want you to visualize an image of your mother standing in front of you. Become aware of your own body. When you think of your mother, what sensations arise in your body? What emotions do you feel? And where do you feel them? I want you to notice even more details about these sensations and these emotions within your body. What color are they? What shape are they? What size? What temperature? Is it hot? Is it cold? What is the density? Is it light, like a cloud? Or heavy and solid, like a rock? Just become aware. Now I want you to scan your body from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet. And every time you notice one of these trapped emotions, one of these sensations, I want you to pause and say, I see you, I am aware, and move on. Now I want you to visualize an opening in the top of your head, and a beautiful white light pours into the opening in the top of your head and fills your body. This white light dissolves any negative energy or tension. Now I want you to notice that there's a balloon in your hand and all of this dissolved negative energy flows through your body, through your arm, and up into the balloon. When the balloon is full, let go and watch it float away. A second balloon appears in your hand, and you feel that one as well. You can fill as many balloons as you need to, and each time one is full, just let go and let it float away, and continue until all that dissolved negative energy is released from your body into a balloon and it floats away. Now you notice that in the opening in the top of your head, clear, beautiful water flows through your body and it flows out your fingertips and the bottoms of your feet and it cleans out any residue and you are clean. And now, through the opening in the top of your head, a beautiful golden light pours in and fills every space in your body. 
this golden light heals and repairs any damage and you are whole and perfect and strong and powerful and worthy you are worthy of love and connection you are worthy of being seen and heard and wanted now I want you to look up again at the image of your mother standing in front of you I want you to notice the strings attaching you to your mother these strings represent the complex relationship that you have with your mother notice where the strings are attached are they connected to your head to your heart to your stomach or someplace else now I want you to look down at the ground and notice a large pair of scissors pick up the scissors and cut through all the strings and you are free now I want you to look at your mother and say the past is over it doesn't matter anymore except for what we can learn from it I forgive you for not being the way I wanted you to be I forgive you for everything you did and said that offended me I forgive you for everything you did not do and did not say that offended me I love you please forgive me now as you look up at your mother I want you to notice a beautiful beam of light connecting your heart to the heart of your mother this beam of light represents a healthy connection with your mother where love is freely given and received send a message of love to your mother and feel that love returning to you now look up at your mother and say the past is over it doesn't matter anymore except for what we can learn from it I forgive you please forgive me I love you now go to your mother and give her a big hug and feel the love and the acceptance all is well take a deep breath in and slowly exhale inhale and exhale notice that you are still filled with the love joy and peace from that healing golden light as you gently become aware of your surroundings and open your eyes all is well next we will be healing from our father wounds by doing another healing visualization now some people watching and listening might be thinking but I don't have a father or I never met my father or I hate my father regardless of the situation and relationship that you had with your father half of your DNA came from your biological mother and half of your DNA came from your biological father so regardless of whether or not he is a part of your life he is a part of you 
and you have feelings about him. Take a deep breath in and then slowly exhale. Inhale and exhale. I want you to visualize that you are in a safe place. Look around you. Where are you? Are you in a room? Are you standing on the beach? Or in a meadow? What do you see? What do you hear? Enjoy the sensations of this peaceful, beautiful place. Now I want you to visualize an image of your father standing in front of you. Become aware of your own body. When you think of your father, what sensations arise in your body? What emotions do you feel? And where do you feel them? I want you to notice even more details about these sensations and these emotions within your body. What color are they? What shape are they? What size? What temperature? Is it hot? Is it cold? What is the density? Is it light, like a cloud? Or heavy and solid, like a rock? Just become aware. Now I want you to scan your body from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet. And every time you notice one of these trapped emotions, one of these sensations, I want you to pause and say, I see you. I am aware. And move on. Now I want you to visualize an opening in the top of your head and a beautiful white light pours into the opening in the top of your head and fills your body. This white light dissolves any negative energy or tension. Now I want you to notice that there's a balloon in your hand and all of this dissolved negative energy flows through your body, through your arm, and up into the balloon. When the balloon is full, let go and watch it float away. A second balloon appears in your hand and you feel that one as well. You can fill as many balloons as you need to. And each time one is full, just let go and let it float away. And continue until all that dissolved negative energy is released from your body into a balloon and it floats away. Now you notice that in the opening in the top of your head, clear, beautiful water flows through your body and it flows out your fingertips and the bottoms of your feet and it cleans out any residue and you are clean. 
And now, through the opening in the top of your head, a beautiful golden light pours in and fills every space in your body. This golden light heals and repairs any damage and you are whole and perfect and strong and powerful and worthy. You are worthy of love and connection. You are worthy of being seen and heard and wanted. Now I want you to look up again at the image of your father standing in front of you. I want you to notice the strings attaching you to your father. These strings represent the complex relationship that you have with your father. Notice where the strings are attached. Are they connected to your head? To your heart? To your stomach? Or someplace else? Now I want you to look down at the ground and notice a large pair of scissors. Pick up the scissors and cut through all the strings and you are free. Now I want you to look at your father and say, the past is over. It doesn't matter anymore except for what we can learn from it. I forgive you for not being the way I wanted you to be. I forgive you for everything you did and said that offended me. I forgive you for everything you did not do and did not say that offended me. I love you. Please forgive me. Now as you look up at your father, I want you to notice a beautiful beam of light connecting your heart to the heart of your father. This beam of light represents a healthy connection with your father, where love is freely given and received. Send a message of love to your father and feel that love returning to you. Now look up at your father and say, the past is over. It doesn't matter anymore except for what we can learn from it. I forgive you. Please forgive me. I love you. Now go to your father and give him a big hug and feel the love and the acceptance. All is well. Take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. Inhale and exhale. Notice that you are still filled with the love, joy, and peace from that healing golden light as you gently become aware of your surroundings and open your eyes. All is well. Now that we've worked on healing from our mother wounds and our father wounds, the next step is to make a list of who else had a significant influence on you during your formative years. People like babysitters or stepmother or stepfather, foster parents, grandparents, teachers, siblings, church leaders, friends, or bullies. 
For each one, do a forgiveness visualization. Remember that healing and forgiveness is kind of like an onion. It has layers. It's very normal to forgive someone and then later to have something else come up and we need to forgive them again. Now it's time to talk about the action steps for this video. Some recommendations are to press play for one of the healing visualization exercises or spend two minutes thinking about and creating a list of people who influenced you during your formative years. Remember that choosing one small thing and actually doing it is far more effective than wishing to do many things and then not doing any of them. Please visit the Hope for Healing website to download a free tracking sheet. So now that you've completed step three, what is the next step in your healing journey? Well, it is continuing that pattern of spending time each day to feel good, to increase self-love, and to become aware and let go. Be patient with yourself and with the process. Authentic healing is not like flipping on a light switch. It's more like a sunrise, where the changes from moment to moment might be gradual, but they do come. If you have experienced trauma or abuse, please watch the video on overcoming trauma and abuse for additional tools. I encourage you to watch all of the videos in this series on empowering overcomers. Step one, feel good. Step two, increase self-love. Step three, become aware and let go, parts one and two. Overcoming trauma and abuse and why you are good enough right now. My name is Linda Bjork and I am an overcomer. I have overcome depression, anxiety, trauma, low self-esteem, self-limiting beliefs, and self-sabotage. I started Hope for Healing nonprofit to help empower other people to be able to overcome their challenges as well. And I have interviewed hundreds of experts and overcomers on my podcast, Linda's Corner, to be able to help even more people. I invite you to grab a copy of one of my books, like Crushed, A Journey Through Depression, and Amazon bestseller, You Got This, An Action Plan to Calm Fear, Anxiety, Worry, and Stress. Thank you.